LJ? Yeah? I really want to see the new recap review. Where can I go? Well, I'll tell you, little Johnny. If you head on over to Vessel.com forward slash the TTV channel, you'll find all of our content, recap reviews, mock spotlights, and more on Vessel a week early. That's right, a full seven days before we release it on YouTube. Not only that, but content from tons of other creators all across the internet. In order to access it, you need to sign up for early access, which is only $3 a month. It's a really great deal, and it helps us create better, higher quality content, and it gets you guys in on the loop a whole week early. Wow! I'm gonna go sign up right now! You do that, little Johnny. You do that. Five, four, three, two, one, sink! sink. Everybody and welcome to the TTV Big Feed Podcast. Hey, we did it. <laughs> that was the weather, guys. It's pretty oh, good. It thunderstormed a ton last oh, it's, night. It's lucky it's you. Great. It's pretty great. Yeah, it was like nice. super here, severe. There's lightning every two seconds. Actually, I don't even know why I said pretty good. It's pretty crappy over here. <laughs> yeah, same here. Yeah, but your it definition of bad horrible. weather is different from mine. Let me it's guess. Like it's like all rainy foggy and foggy. And yep. misty there we go. And cold <laughs> that and windy. Dude, that's very depressing. Great. That so, it's awesome. like Silent Hill over here. <laughs> Dude, I would love that. Over here, it's dry, it's hot, and I got woke up by a sonic boom, so I'm not exactly happy. Sonic boom? That's a terrible a sonic game. Boom. Sonic boom? Yeah, a jet. A jet flew oh, over the house. Oh, you were talking about Thank the horrible game that came out, like, what was last year? <laughs> <laughs> yes, somebody walked in my room and slapped me with sonic boom. Like, wake up, rise of lyric! No, well, it is a thing of nightmares, so, hey. <laughs> yeah, that is. But hey, maybe they'll make a Lego adaption of it. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Ah, ah, no. Ah. What if, like, what if the Lego Dimensions expansion is, like, the first good Sonic game we've had? That would be hilarious. <laughs> in the last five years. That's that not exactly a high bar. Well, when, well, I mean, when like, was the last I, um, good Sonic game? Actually, no, we gotta save- Generations? We gotta save that for, like, TTV Talks about Sonic or something. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I guess, speaking about TTV talking about stuff, who are we? Aww. Amazing. I don't know. I'm John. I'm Mesa. I'm LJ. I'm Ven. And I'm Purple. And this is the TTV Brickfeed Podcast, episode 12. Get hype. I like it when you were like, uh, do a TTV talking about it. who are we? And then you pause like you were waiting for somebody else to sit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was waiting for all the groans to get out of the way. So I don't want the groans to interrupt my name, man. Fair enough. I like. Fair. <laughs> it feels like it's been so long since I've been on Brickfeed. Yeah, yeah me too. Been, guys. Well, we had a few great episodes, and then this one happened. Though, so yeah. Long, like two minutes. Man, LD, you you've been like you've been real like you been, you've been real <laughs> whole new kind real of salt like, real like towards real purple like. lately. A little salty. Listen, Makuta Fest just happened. For those who are uh, listening, Makuta Fest was last. Listen, week. it's a breaking in period. Okay, I did this with a Viper. I'm doing this with Purple. She's got a. It's, she's been here for like almost a whole year. It's not long yeah, enough. I've been here for almost eight months now. Wait, are you serious? Yeah. No, that's not true. Yep. I Holy crap, joined, are you like, serious? I joined the beginning of last December. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> You're yeah, soon be at the one dis- year anniversary. You totally did. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. It's disgusting. Whoa. <laughs> you know, we party. always get new cast members in December. I remember Viper joined in December, it's and I true. think the Kim on X can, can joined in December as well. Can we get rid of members in December? Does it work that way, or do we only accept uh, them? We actually did. <laughs> that's a story for another day. Oh, we did, yeah. <laughs> we totally did. Tell the story, tell the story. No, not Tell the story. Oh, no. TTV talks about stuff we shouldn't talk about, is when we'll, we'll tell Brick that story. after show. <laughs> there you go. Well, coming soon. Really soon is the uh, San Diego Comic Con, guys. And I went to New York Comic Con. It was a blast. And I've always wanted to go to San Diego. And I can't because it's on the other side of the country. And that really sucks because all the stuff they have coming out this year is like crazy. As always, they have those, uh, they, well, I'm just going to get to that for a while. Thank you for asking. (laughs) They release every year, they have the exclusive minifigures released. And this year, they have one for Marvel, one from DC. The Marvel one is the new Captain America, Steve Rogers. Uh, and the DC one is the TV version of the Atom. Steve Rogers looks pretty nifty, but I don't know anything about Atom. I don't know if it's a good representation or not. Uh, of the TV? Yeah. The TV show? I'm going to get you a picture of a TV show guy. Oh, who's like, the Adam? Who is the know. Adam? <laughs> the Adam, here's the Adam. The Adam is scientist Ray Palmer, who, uh, nah, nah, he's basically Ant-Man. Palmer. 
Huh. He's basically Ant Man. Um, oh. he can shrink really small, but he can't grow big. He can just shrink really small. Wow! So he's like worse Ant Man. <laughs> <laughs> he's like imagine if Ant Man is was really lame. That sounds about right for DC. <laughs> <laughs> Savage. DC. Imagine if Marvel was really lame. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, that's kind of how it is. Except for Batman. What's with all these weird cords on his? He does have a lot suit. of. Like, Cords and cables. They're so weird looking. Imagine if Thor and Black Panther were really lame and also had the same mom's name. <laughs> wow. And there you go. Yeah, that's about right. And imagine if Black Panther was a white panther in black clothing. So we're going to pretend you didn't talk. And there you go. <laughs> and uh, we're going to move on. So the Adam, that's interesting. We're going to move on to this photo. Here we go. That's the photo of the Adam as he appears in the TV show. Uh, and then if you just kind of scroll up and you see the picture of the Adam uh, minifigure, it's really accurate, honestly. Big difference is They've the been doing... uh, picture you posted, he's brooding. And then the other one, he's smiling. <laughs> That's true. Well, Ray Palmer's kind of a goofy dude in the TV show. I haven't seen too much oh, of yeah, it that, since... Uh, that which one's like, he in? Arrow or, or Flash? Uh, he's in... That's a good question. I can't. They all stream. Please together say Flash, because then I'll get to watch. I think him. he's I'm in Flash, but I'm not sure. I know he's in the Legends of Tomorrow. A uh, couple. Okay. One. He's so it, those, yeah. He's so. in Legends of Tomorrow. Fair enough. But he appears in either the Arrow or Flash first. I don't know. I've, I've kind of like I've dropped same off the spiel. DC shows. You know, same yeah. same deal. Spiel. Anyhow, um, Captain America is the one that I'm interested in the most because you know it's Captain America. The shield uh, is cool. This is this is the Hail Hydra. Captain yeah. America. <laughs> yeah. So in case you wanted the to traitor. redo that meme. If you want oh, to redo boy. that meme in actual Lego and just have him saying, Hail Mega Blocks. Oh my god. And yeah, now you actually can. Yeah, they, you totally can. That now. would be great. I don't know. This is. I don't like the new costume as much, if I'm being honest. Uh, yeah, I'm not but really I do like feeling it either. A lot. I feel like the main thing is <laughs> it just that, looks like another Captain America. Yeah, it just like they tried to do something new, but it didn't go all the way with it. I liked the ever one uh, when Bucky became Captain America and he had like the black, the yeah. black suit with like the the American shield on. I thought that was a cool uh, costume. I like the Falcons. Was it last year or two years ago? The the Falcon Captain America costume. I feel that's a really cool re- uh, redesign. This one I feel is just a little too generic and a little too. Uh, it, I can't really understand like what's going on with the costume because at first when I looked at it, the red line almost look like the outline of like a cloak or like a trench coat <laughs> right that he's Doesn't wearing it, it looks like, like it i know that's weird. not what it is but it's yeah. just printed to where it look kind of looks odd the red lines just kind of like go around his body and it's just really weird i don't i don't <laughs> like it it breaks up the costume it's just <laughs> yeah i don't know what to make of it but i do like the shield that's cool, I think. Yeah, it looks like a shield. <laughs> kind of. Wow. It's funny it does, because, it like, like shield. the Captain America, you, I mean, we've all seen the, the cover where he's punching Hitler. He used to have oh, a triangular yes. shield, and they got, Marvel got sued, or they didn't get sued. They were threatened to be sued by another, I think it was Archie Comics, actually, who had uh, this hmm. character called The Shield, who was a patriotic hero, and he had the, uh, he had, like, this triangular shield that was a normal shield, right? And they said, no, wow. your Captain America is ripping off our character. And so Jack Kirby was like, all right, sure. And he made the circular shield, which is way better than the stupid <laughs> yeah. triangular shield. Yeah. Uh, can you imagine Captain America in the movies with a triangular shield? Yeah. yeah that, no, that's so lame. Throwing that around and bouncing off of walls. Yeah, he would, just, he would just basically just be able to, like, block it from ways. He'd just be able no to way. block punches, basically. He would totally frisbee that shield all around and bounce off walls, and when it hits somebody, instead of just, like, kind of bouncing off them and sending them flying back, it just stick out at them, like... <laughs> No, yeah, oh no, it'd be like, it, he'd be like an arrow. He'd yeah. just, like, throw it at people. <laughs> Interesting. Captain it America easy. throws his mighty... Sh- oh, anyway. Oh. <laughs> oh. No, it's, <laughs> it's Captain a America thing. throws his shield and he puts yeah, you like, in a these coma. These minifigures are always really so cool. this is a SDCC exclusive and it's one of those expensive minifigs that oh, yeah. people will go crazy about it. Mm-hmm. So it's not worth that, I don't think. Um... Like, Obviously, like, it all depends on the price. Sometimes exclusivity really drives it. I do know that, like, some of the, uh, whenever they put costumes that are, like, really comic iconic, you know, but people won't really, they were not going to put them in a set. That's, those are the ones that sell the, the best. Yeah. Uh, so I feel like the one, they did, uh, the black suited Superman from his, the Death and Return of Superman, where he's just in that all black suit and the Superman logo. And that is a very high priced item because, of course, it's a, it's a character that a lot of people want. It's very iconic to that character, except they're not going to put it in the set because it was only there for a short amount of time. Same thing with like, um, a lot of the Spider-Man costumes are like that too. Yeah. Uh, 
Except they really haven't – they've been putting a lot of the Spider-Man costumes into actual sense. I'm kind of surprised. <laughs> I feel like Iron Spider would be a huge, like way big selling uh, Comic-Con item. But they put him in the set. Uh, same thing with like uh, a lot of the uh, – they did the Scarlet Spider in the new uh, yeah, set. Recently. Spider-Girl yeah, recently. Spider-Girl or Spider-Woman. Mm-hmm. spider yeah. get that. Um, Are you I, actually going to try to get that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Totally, dude. Well, good luck. <laughs> I wish uh, – I really wish we could get uh, like – the superior Iron Man suit, that'd be really cool. Or the really black and gold Iron like. Man suit. Um, or like oh, the... I'll take it. I hope yeah, they make no, the it, purple it looks really one. Cool. That'd be cool. Well, they could do... Um, there's really yeah, no you know per- what? Well, Let's I guess just they could make do, a uh, whole rescue. rainbow spectrum of Iron Man. That, that works purple. Yeah. Superior Spider-Man suit, that'd be awesome to have. Anyhow, while we're dreaming. Uh, oh, they bio, also... We'll get in a third year. <laughs> there's... there's <laughs> right, we'll get in a third year from my uncle. Sad. <laughs> <laughs> We're also uh, talking about like the the other stuff that came out at SDCC, including the Hulk versus Red Hulk set. Now that uh, I think was that that was announced and it will be displayed. Thankfully, that is not an SD, SDCC exclusive. <laughs> yeah, it looks. It kind of reminds me of the Mighty Micro things. Hmm. This set is weird. It's like Mighty Micro but amped up, like. Two Hulks in like dune buggy cars, <laughs> and then two She Hulks as well. Yep. It's like it feels kind of derivative, but I'm not sure if that's how it is in the comics or not. Like, no, I mean, oh yeah, I, I mean, the we Hulk saw the Hulk driving drive around and it's like dune buggy across the desert. <sighs> See, not the vehicle so much as just like, oh, of course Hulk fights Red Hulk, and of course She Hulk fights Red <laughs> She Hulk. <laughs> no, I mean, like, they, I mean, they do in the comics because. <laughs> Okay, if I'm being comics. honest, I'm not a huge fan of, like, all the Hulk derivatives past She-Hulk. I think She-Hulk is a very entertaining, interesting character with her own thing going for her. Because she's a lawyer and she does all that kind of stuff. And, you know, she has she doesn't get angry with the, the Hulk thing that's not explored at all. She's not just a girl version of the Hulk. But mm-hmm. Red Hulk and Red She-Hulk are pretty derivative. They're just like the Hulk, but, but in red. a different color. Yeah, it's really <laughs> it. There's a red one, like, is there a purple Thunderbolt one, Ross is there a blue is one? Red Hulk. Right, there's a blue Hulk that's called a bomb. Oh um, that was around for a while, and there's like all A-bomb. these other, all the other Hulks. Yeah, they're dude, all A-bomb. powered now in the comics. Freaking what's his name? Um, is like the best name ever. Rick Jones. Yep, Rick Jones. <laughs> Rick Jones. You haven't heard about Rick Jones? <laughs> yeah, come on. That was, that was one of the best moments ever that I wish was recorded. <laughs> You've never heard of Rick yeah, Jones. Heard of Rick Jones. <laughs> Fun no, fact, so in the comics, the Hulk recently went through and, like, depowered every Hulk ever. Like, he just, like, went through what? and, like, yeah, he, like... He depowered them? Yeah, he, like, tried to get rid of all the Gamma stuff for every one of them. Except for, I think She-Hulk is still around, but I'm not too sure. Um, And then, then like, he got his own powers taken away and given to this Asian dude called Amadeus Cho. Hey, and now whoa. he's the new Hulk, and he's going around doing all that stuff. How weird. So he just, like, yeah, casually yeah. gives someone uh, else's powers? No, like, he's, he absorbs all of his gamma radiation and it's gonna kill him. And then Amadeus Cho shows up and he absorbs it from him, but like, then the gamma radiation goes into his suit and then transforms him into the Hulk. I feel suit. like this isn't how physics works, but I could be wrong. Yeah, yeah well, it's comics. No, it's it's it. gamma radiation. <laughs> let's, let's it's I not love... gonna turn you into the Hulk, it's going to kill you. You will become the human how tumor. No. I mean, tumor. the thing with the Hulk too is that it's always been like a super, like a superhuman serum in the movies. Like they did the Captain America, they tried to recreate him, and then it turned and uh, Bruce Banner into the Hulk. It's actually kind of a, it's I think it's a better origin because like the super soldier serum always turns you into what you are inside. So it turned like the Nazi guy into the Red Skull. Oh, what's his name? Uh, Red Skull. His Red name. Skull. <laughs> yeah. I mean, whoever Red Skull's real name was, Schmidt or whatever. <laughs> and then uh, it turned Captain Johann America Schmidt. from the skinny dude into a... But it turns Bruce Banner into, like, a crazy, mad, dumb idiot. <laughs> he goes and smashes things. So I don't know what that has to say about uh, Bruce Banner over here, but there you I go. I don't know. Yeah. But no, this but, set is weird because, like, I like the Red Hulk's vehicle more, but I think if in a fight between the two, Green Hulk is cooler because he has the Bionicle Gatling gun. Wow. Probably more efficient than the stupid flick fire missiles on the side. <laughs> stupid I mean, flick so, fire let's face missiles. it, we know that guns and missiles basically do nothing against the Hulk. I don't know yeah. why they're shooting missiles and, like, they're shooting stuff that they know is not going to hurt each other at they're each other. They're trying to blow up the cars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Extreme bumper cars. I yeah. I'm really excited for the She-Hulk minifigure. I'm not. I really dislike the big figs. I I hate Hulk. You've mentioned in the past. I that you can't really like. I really hate them because they should have at least equal articulation. Yeah, well, to the minifigures. Is what it is. If not more. 
It's and it is what it is. I just hate it. They shouldn't have the movable legs because that wouldn't really work. They should have the Bionicle 2016 waist swivel. That's wow. what they should have. Uh, I'm not kidding. No, I it think movable work. legs should You could like should articulate work. them by why like, would, no, why why would the yeah, legs I think they work. should have movable legs, honestly. Yeah. What are you talking about? It's like saying the way the piece is legs. oriented, they're too. They would have to change the shape of the leg. Okay, piece. that's so what I'm saying. To make that work. I'm yeah. like, if they could just do a very simple thing, put a gear in between the uh, legs and the t- torso, and make it a separate piece. Boom, there you have more articulation. No, I'm mm. saying that they should do a separate piece. This is a dumb big fig. The big figs are just terrible. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they they really are terrible. They don't like you can only move their arms. And that's all you and really need face. to move. All they do is punch things, don't you know? That's uh, true, yeah. basically. They're just not real. Like, I'd much rather have a real minifigure. <laughs> then yeah, well, you got two of them. There you go. Red She-Hulk. <laughs> also, uh, Red She-Hulk is Betty Ross. Oh, really? Who's largely been forgotten. Yeah, what? Yeah. yeah, you know that? I no, honestly thought I heard her say Betty Jones, White, and I was right? like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> you never heard of Betty or Ross? <laughs> you don't know Thunderbolt no. Jones. Uh, th- Thunderbolt Jones. <laughs> Thunderbolt Ross is Red Hulk, and Betty Ross is a Red She-Hulk. That, okay, that I did not that know. Makes that makes it really weird cuz I remember I remember the Hulk movie and Oh yeah. And that she was like the love interest. So we have Hulk over here and he likes her and then we have General Ross over there. He doesn't care about any of them. <laughs> so I would basically love to see this in movie form like Red Hulk and Red She-Hulk. <laughs> no, okay, stupid, he's, what, like, he's, he's what he's what should happen. Like, live should switch like <laughs> Well, here's the deal. Like, they have the Red Hulk and, uh, Red She-Hulk together. They should switch She-Hulks. The Bruce Banner and, like, uh, you know, Bruce Banner and Betty Ross should be in one vehicle, like, driving away. And then, like, Thunderbolt Ross with, uh, is, like, coming after them with his lawyer, She-Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> and, <whatever. laughs> and know their marriage or whatever. <laughs> wow. Aww. Nice. That's great. Well, I don't know if I'm going to get this set. Uh, actually, scratch that. I know I'm not going to get this no, I'm not, set. I'm not, I'm not, it's I'm interesting. Get it I might get the. I might get She-Hulk from uh, Bricklink. I feel like this I was a missed opportunity. I did not ever expect to see a Hulk-centric set with, like, two vehicles. This, so this was a missed opportunity to have, like, an actual set piece set where you have the interactable falling, uh, breakable walls or something. You know, have some real Hulk action. No. Oh. We must have bikes. Yeah, real? no. We gotta have stupid vehicles. Ugh. That reminds me about sets that we are and are not getting. This isn't actually on our news docket today, but I remembered it, and I briefly want to mention. So if you go over to lego.com forward slash ENUS whatever, DC Superheroes, you go to the DC Superheroes product page. I don't know exactly where you're going to be able to find it, but the Spider-Man set that Kahi and I really like appeared on lego.com over on the DC side. What? Wait, yeah, which the one with set? The uh, one with Civil War Spider-Man. Oh, that hasn't come wait, out why yet. do you say that only you and Kahi like it? I freaking love it. <laughs> yeah. I, I, love, say I, I, I like it way more than it. you do. I just, I just remember we no, had a conversation like, no, about dude, it. No, dude, screw you. What is screw this exclusivity you. you have here? This, this, is, this is BS. I'm leaving. Listen, you can be part of the club. I'm going to check right now. DC Universe. Well, I can't find Super it now. Heroes. I don't know where it is, but at some point it was there. It has not released yet. I don't know, LJ. I think you're spreading misinformation. Listen, uh, it's... Oh. Do not start this buckaroo bonsai. Picks or it didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Do you have any I'm gonna picks? Go, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go find it. <laughs> Give me a moment. Go ahead and All continue right. talking about something All right. Well, else. We're, uh, does anyone else have anything to say about that set? Or I'm not I like the purple it. wheels, but they look terrible with that green and the yellow. Yeah. It's, just, it's so gross. It, like, it doesn't even match his pants. Like, the Hulk's green it and purple does. are completely different from the vehicle. Oh, yeah, it I know. It's a sad state of affairs. So gross. Me. It's really bad. So <laughs> stupid. The Hulk minifigure just doesn't look good, to tell you the truth. Because it's, it's a big fig. <laughs> no, I mean, like, I've seen better big figs than that. That's even. true. I mean, at least he has purple pants now. Uh, I, I, I like this brown one. Pants I, like, or, like, I, I pants. actually don't mind this Hulk fig. Well, I think it's pretty well done for what it is. Uh, so hey, I'm happy all right. Me. There you go. Real quick before we get into uh, the our other pieces of news, I want to talk to you about Vessel.com slash DTV channel. Uh, hey. Vessel is a premium subscription service where you can get all of our videos uh, for one week early access. Uh, you can view them all for free right now without having to pay. You can just create an account on Vessel.com. But if you really want to help us out, support us a bit, uh, you can get all of our videos one week early by uh, it's like two ninety nine a month, uh, nineteen ninety nine a year. It's a price of a poly bag or a rather uh, Expensive pencil. Small. <laughs> <laughs> rather expensive pencil. There we really go. Really great pencil. Uh, 
You're a great pencil. Again, that's vessel.com slash the TTV channel. Check us out. Thanks. So, I know I always said we were done with that topic. But Elder just said gray pencil. And it reminded me, is there such a thing as gray Hulk? Yeah, there yeah. is. Yes, there is. Uh, Mr. Fixit. He was the original Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Fix it. So, <laughs> what? I, okay, when the Hulk. Alright, I'm. I, Alright. Oh boy. Get ready. This is a you wild never heard ride. Of Rick Jones. Oh boy. <laughs> you never heard of Rick Jones? <laughs> so, once upon a time, Bruce Banner went out and he was like doing a. a gamma radiation bomb and a teenager somehow got on into the radiation site and he was like oh no so he went and he saved the teenager but he got hit by the gamma bomb you know doc bruce banner blasted by gamma rays turned into the hulk and he incredibly is whatever so he turns into the gray hulk the gray hulk is around for about three issues but they kept misprinting the shade of gray that he was on so stan lee was like let's just make him green and so the hulk became green randomly and just one issue he just became green also stan lee forgot bruce banner's name and called him bob banner for several <laughs> issues <laughs> and so he had to be like um his name's robert bruce banner in case anyone's wondering because like he would call him world? bob banner bob banner so wow. right and then so then the hulk was the green hulk for the longest time and then he went through a phase where he like became smarter and became a less strong but smarter version of the hulk called mr fix it and mr fix it would go around what? and he had like a, he had a blue suit and he had a fedora what? Not, i wish i was making this up. Go, go get a picture i wish i could right be like now. this is weird this. yeah get mr fix it <laughs> Mr. And then Fix Mr. Fixit went to be a part of the Fantastic Four. Well, the Fantastic Four were away. It was like Ghost Rider. <laughs> it was Wolverine. It was Spider Man, and um, and then Mr. Uh, Fix Mr. Fixit as the Hulk. Right. And so that was a uh, that's the whole thing that happened. That and sounds then like ridiculous. right. And then the Hulk got sent to another planet where he married a girl, and he could also now be intelligent for whatever reason. And then they blew the Avengers blew up the planet, and then he had to came back and he tried to kill the Avengers. Comics then, are uh, stupid, man. <laughs> <It's> so <laughs> weird. I love comics, but they're pretty stupid. Excuse you, I am a comic artist. Yeah, and yours repeat, are really stupid. Everyone except stupid. Meso is a comic artist, technically. Yeah. <laughs> I made a comic at one point in my life. It's deleted because it was on my show, but uh. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Red. Right. You should Down make TGV with more news. Down with right. more shows. Freaking Mr. Fix It, good grief. <sighs> Maybe he could fix my shows. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I. I can't What even. else is interesting this um, week? Well, there was a new theme released. Speaking new range, of superheroes. Speaking <laughs> of superheroes that have appeared in movies recently. Except the Hulk didn't appear in a movie recently. Because he would have wrecked everyone in Civil War. Uh, Lego revealed the new Brickhead range uh, for, I guess, superheroes in general. I don't know if they're going to expand it to beyond superheroes and kind of do like a different thing. Uh, no. But they... Released on their Facebook page, uh, and they're going to be available at Comic Con, quote unquote, exclusively. They're going to be available at Comic Con first, but then next year they'll be available for everyone. Hmm. And the they're really, honestly, they're really cool. I really like the how these sets are uh, made and how they look. Yeah, they they're, look really. They're adorable. exactly what I was talking about. Like in um for the construction heads, I talked about in Makuta Fest, where I'm like, the construction heads are the main drawback for construction. I feel, and so these are like really stylized and really cool heads. Or kind of figures. They're kind of like maybe they um, should the, rename it Cool Heads instead of Brick Heads. <laughs> it feels like Lego's answer to like Funko Pops or whatever. <laughs> I love no one acknowledged purple. Let's yeah. keep going. going. Yes, I mean, Funko you just Pop did. figures, which I used to collect uh, to some varying degree. I'm going to stop doing that and instead get all these Brick yeah, Heads. For me, it would depend each. on the price because I don't collect either, but I know there's people that do. And if you could pay ten dollars and get like a Funko Pop of Captain America that you can't articulate, or pay twenty dollars and get a Funko Pop of Captain America—I mean, a, not a Funko Pop, a brickhead of Captain America that you can build but still can't articulate. I would imagine most people would still go with the Funko. Well, with you Funko can Pops, articulate you can move the their heads. heads yeah, Funko Pop. You move them yeah. side. I have a fair one. Even My worse show. then. I like, personally speaking, I really like collectible things in one particular style. One, like, stylized style. I think that's the draw to all these pop figures. Lego has it beat by having stuff you can build. I think that's really cool. Uh, other mm -hmm. company, like, other Lego knockoffs have tried it before. I know a friend of mine had, like, a buildable Lego, not a Lego, buildable minion that was made of, like, fake Lego. One of, <laughs> one of the stupid companies. That yeah, fake Lego. yeah. You know I have a little Batman that's kind of like that, too. Now that we have official sets like this, I might legitimately start collecting these like full-time yeah uh, i hope they make getting, ninjago get, ones that'd be like really cool 
I think so. Right now they're doing superheroes because superheroes are like their most, you know, uh, ex- like expansive range because they have so many characters. Yeah. And so many people are willing to buy them. I mean, I, but I'm sure I can it also definitely helps see Star that Wars. They're debuting these at San Diego Comic Con. Oh, yeah. So exactly. it's, they have right. to be this way. That's why I'm hoping right. that the price they're going to be selling for, they said they're selling them in two packs, each set of two figures <laughs> two will retail packs. for $40. He's alive? <laughs> two oh, boy. Wow. <laughs> He's alive. Wow. Like a wow. pro guys. Yeah. Ah, that was good. So, I'll give you that one. I'm wondering if, like, <laughs> after that event, this. when they actually come out, the price will be lower or they'll sell them individually because that's how I think they'll have the biggest appeal. I yeah. th- they sell them individually. And the thing is, like, pop figures are, what, $10? Yeah, they're, they're about $10. Rough, a little over, maybe. This, I mean, how many how many pieces do you think are in, in each, uh, each uh, one? Too many. At least don't 50. Really yeah. I would say close to a hundred, just looking at what we have. But then again, I don't know so how like, the internal construction is. So maybe, maybe about ten dollars as well, or maybe fifteen dollars, for instance. I could, I could see, I would not pay twenty dollars for one. Yeah, I no. say that I probably would pay twenty dollars for certain ones, but I, I wouldn't <laughs> be able to collect all of them, paying twenty dollars for just a small set. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Agreed. I will say that like about ten dollars is ten dollars. I would get the entire wave. Fifteen dollars, I would get the wave much more slowly and uh, kind of build it out through mm. there. But um. Fifteen dollars, I think, seems reasonable. It's like it's thirty. It's thirty dollars for a two pack. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even need to say anything that time. <laughs> two, Superman, Wonder Woman, two. number one. Thirty dollars. Uh, then we have so Batman and Joker. <laughs> <laughs> so we got like Superman and Wonder Woman, who are a couple in the comics. Until they broke up recently because he lost his powers. Oh um, wow! Then uh. Yeah, they broke up. Um, Batman and Joker, who are arch nemesis. Um, Captain America and Iron Man, who are also best friends and best nemesises. Best nemesis. And finally, Doctor Strange and Black Panther, who are characters that nobody cares enough about, except they have one movie coming out this next year. <laughs> oh, I like That's the only Black reason Panther. I could think of that I they would put them together because they're both the newbies. They, they, yeah, to the MCU. they don't they're have they don't have their anything debut this going year. For them. And- Mm-hmm. Relevance. So I've, yes. I've gone ahead and I, real quick, uh, I've, I've been looking for the Spider Man thing this entire time. I honestly, I have to give up. I can't find it. I swear it was there. Liar. Are you sure it was yeah. Wow. Yeah. You were a liar and a slanderer. I swear it was there. It's on Reddit. It's on the Lego subreddit. And it was there. Get the marshmallows, people, because we're going to cook them over LJ's pants, which are on fire. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not well versed with idioms, that sounded really weird. You could have said something like, "Everyone, get out your marshmallows," because we're gonna roast LJ now or something. But well, I thought I, I was saying, you know, yeah, pants on fire. Oh boy. So anyway, yeah, brickhead. I would, uh, I would get one for Ghost Rider. Of course you would. would you Ghost re- oh come on! All right, <laughs> you I know would- maybe. I think, all right, out of the, if they're doing like, you know, kind of pop figures, they should definitely start branching out into stuff that's like, you know, kind of, uh, tangentially related to, uh, Lego as well. I, I could definitely see them doing, uh, some, you know, TV shows that have come out. Uh, I don't know, I don't know if they would expand the Lego line like Pop has done. Cause Pop has like Game of Thrones figures and Walking Dead figures. And I don't know Definitely if Lego will Pop also come has out. a but, lot of anime figures as well. It is a large brand. But when they first started, it didn't have as many. And so this is the, this, we're seeing the, like the genesis of this. If it really takes off, uh, Lego might start doing a whole bunch of things. Cause pop, like literally pop has no building value to it. They're just a statue or something. And they are a huge, very popular brand. So if Lego, if Lego capitalizes on this and you know, they actually have some value to them because you can build them, who knows? It might actually be a, a really great band. And I, this really does look great. They have, they, uh, they use a lot of, uh, snot building. Here yeah. For yeah. <laughs> See, okay, this is it's why I brought this up last week when we mentioned snot. Uh, maybe it wasn't last week. I, I feel like we had a guest on at that point, so it couldn't have been. Uh, mm-hmm. no, I guess not. Mm-hmm. A guest? Yeah, no, we we brought up snot, and like uh, we were talking to someone who was really well-versed in it, but I, I miss remembering. <laughs> well-versed in snot? Trooper? Yes, all, all those ex- <laughs> All those amazing guest hosts we've been putting on. Yeah, listen, X is here so rarely. He's basically (laughs) our guest. Yeah, yeah, this is why I brought it up, because it sounds weird, but it's a real acronym, Purple. Yeah, it's a real thing. Studs not on top. Yeah, yeah, so you know what? Maybe you should learn your place, you you construction peasant. That's real funny coming from you. Yeah. Uh (laughs) I'm sorry, I can't hear you over my much better construction... System. Do you even own any How? system sets? Yeah, a bunch. 
How yeah, does a- Superman's belt? How does that? How is? How would they do that? I don't know. I'm trying to think. Like they don't, they can't have like a stud like facing outward, right? Yeah, they do. They have a maybe. Piece for that. Yeah, I know. I'm no. I'm saying that like it can't be on the side. No, yeah, there there is the a side? piece for it. I don't know what the name is or even want to search, but it's basically like a plate, but like the studs kind of jut out to the side. I guess it's sort of like in the shape of an L if you look at it sideways. Um, oh no, I know what you're talking about. Never, never mind. Yeah, that's how they did that. Good catch for same thing for yeah. like Black Panther and Batman. Even Very interesting. Oh man, I, I can't wait to get Iron Man, hmm. and Captain America. I hope they make a Spider Man or Venom. If they make Venom, I'm sure oh, Spider Man, well. man, if they did the Spider Man and Venom, that'd be super cool. That, that would be. Uh, okay, I like how they did Doctor right. Strange. I like ten of them. That's that's clever. Yeah, two packs for other characters. That would be kind of cool. <laughs> like having <laughs> Sensei Wu and Garmadon. Yep. There you go. Uh, Tahu and Golly. Tahu <laughs> and Makuta. I'd buy an Akimu and Makuta Brickhead, but they won't do it. LJ and Ever. LJ. L and L J. J. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jinx, you owe me a soda. Hulk and Red Hulk. <laughs> no, you said it, it like it's 10 minutes Ellen, It's Ellen from The Ellen Show and J from Ninjago. That's what it is. What? <laughs> no. How yeah, there we go. Mean? No. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. boy. There's just so many... Many options. Laval and Cragger. And you're done talking. No, Shima's <laughs> dead. Let it die. Golly and Dor. What? Oh my Galador. gosh, Galador. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> ben, you're done. You're done. I thought the you were talking go stick is gone. <laughs> All right, enough of this. Let's let's move on. I say. All right, let's let's jump ship from the SDCC news and on to stuff that's actually kind of uh, coming out soon. The uh, Adventure Time Lego Idea Set It looks got pretty nifty. Does anybody here watch Adventure Time? No. I no. watched like two episodes and it was really weird. I, I watched uh, kind of. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan. Is it a good representation? To it. Yes. Well, hey, I know the character go. designs. I know the character designs at least and these are really, uh, really pretty accurate. Yeah. I'm really impressed with the unicorn one. Cause she's like a literal rainbow. Yeah, that is clever. Yeah, no, that that one's a really clever one. I like the um, Ice King, dude. He isn't. Of course cool. you do. Is <laughs> <Was> that me? <laughs> he looks just like you. Yes, just like me. <laughs> it's interesting that we're getting into these brick-built figures now, both with brick heads and with adventure. It time. was jarring when I first saw it. I was like, oh, you know, is this interesting? Like, they're not traditional minifigures. Well, heck, like and, I posted uh, an image, and Meso, you'll have to remember to put this up on screen. But we have on the I left will. the original proposal on ideas that the the guy made, and on the right you have the actual uh, ideas version. And they were quite this is faithful. honestly probably the most accurate replication of the ideas pitch that I've ever seen. They mainly only yeah, changed no, the faces like, and made some. They changed the faces and, there. and they made some tweaks until all the <coughs> models are built. You know, a little bit. Uh, the but like they the made general tweaks that look way is better. Exactly the same. So hey, yeah. I like that they're using the uh, the mixel uh, yeah. joints. Mm-hmm. I feel like that was yeah, that's, that's kind of really like Bionicle's idea. greatest contribution to system is like ball the little the popularization of ball the, joints. Yeah, the, the popularization of ball joints. And so stuff. I remember they used to have like the ratchet joints, like we're in Knight Kingdom, but nowadays you wanted to make a mech, you have like uh, just CCBS stuff put in there, and you want to do mini builds with articulation mixel joints. It's like it is yeah, cool. I, I think one thing with brickheads too is that you're going to see a lot of different. Mocks done in the brickhead style. Oh yeah, we already yeah. Going to be cool. different... we're already starting to see them. I don't, I right. don't have any links. And I, but... I, I'm really, yeah, no, I, I really like that, uh, like that idea. I'd like to like eventually have a thing. I could see a service popping up where they look like you send a picture to somebody and they'll give you back a brickhead's version of yourself. Oh, that'd be so cool. Which we should totally start, and uh, let's edit this out of the podcast <laughs> because I'll be starting that business up yeah, very good soon. Job. <laughs> good, good luck. For All right, Kahi, I want to be your first customer. Make me a Miru. Okay. Amazing. I I, yeah, sure. Was I talking to you, Purple? You get some good markets. Was I, I mean, talking to you? I was talking to Kyle. Wow, Kahi. that was quite the voice crack there. <laughs> 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 that's actually a really cool idea to to see to have the different things done in the brickhead stuff. It'd be kind of like like you know you can't go you and said ask that already, people to dude. make a pop. You're like repeating yourself. <laughs> no, no, I'm, no, no, I'm like I'm no. like I'm complimenting We're myself. Moving on okay? to something else now. Give me, give me a break. The, give no, me a break. I'll give you a break in the face. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You want my lunch money too? Yeah. <laughs> so real quick I'm for this Adventure Time set that got officially re- revealed. It's what? launching the first of January. What? And it's nice. 
it will be selling for around $45. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. It's, wow. People believe, Ain't gonna buy. people believe it will be $45. Oh, but you're getting all the figures in one set, right? Yeah, it's yeah. not separately. Okay. It can, uh, yeah. You know what? If it was yeah, 45 might... per, like, mini person or whatever, that would have been, like, <laughs> what? Nah, that'd be outrageous. The yeah. total cost is going to end up being, a, sorry, the total piece count is going to be around 495 pieces. So. Well, fair that, enough. That's not that, makes, that bad. That but it is yeah. a slight licensing idea of markup, but that comes to the territory. Hey, speaking about licensing, let's talk about Lego Dimensions for a second. Oh okay. boy, what crazy stuff have they done now? They've done a very interesting uh, thing that we all should have really saw coming. I don't know why it wasn't like a thing where, oh yeah, 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 everyone knows about this, this exists. They uh, recently, and then released, it was kind of leaked, but the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them expansion for the, uh, or expansion, level pack, I guess, for Lego Dimensions. People would see. probably care if they cared about the movie. <laughs> Nobody oh, does. You, man, you keep saying that. I think people do kind of care about the movie. Marketing like has been behind. very poor. <laughs> wow. <laughs> was that necessary, like, Nessa? Did you need to yes, do that? Yes, it was. No, that was <laughs> not necessary. <laughs> that was not necessary. That was rude. I thought it was Also, it was not necessary. Probably this movie, if I'm being honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I, it will be all right, but... It has not well, made the, any the, kind of shocking The impression. thing is, yeah, the thing is, it's supposed to be a trilogy, isn't it? Like a, I think so, yes. Isn't it a new trilogy? The thing about Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them is that it, it's a cool it's a cool idea for a side book that J.K. Rowling should write. But if I want to see a new, uh, around, like, if I want to see films based around the American school in the Harry Potter world, I want to see stuff in the current day because that just seems way more interesting to me to, to see right now if everyone has smartphones and like they're doing all this crazy stuff with technology. And I really like to see how the wizarding world competes with that or like what's going on in America right now, you know, yeah, as opposed to like, you know, uh, England back in the nineties. Instead, we're just probably we gotta get a movie about some dude running around the world looking at beasts and animals and stuff. Yeah, it's gonna be like, oh, you know, crazy we found... crazy adventures, I can see it now. He finds a dragon and he gets to the back of the dragon <laughs> and they go like, flying through the sky. Whoa! This is so crazy! Let me write it in my journal! <laughs> Like, I'm not, I'm, I'm my interest Basically, for that is, like, below the levels of any modicum I of think care. I think, really, what needs to happen is that there needs to be another book about the Wizarding, like, people finally finding out, the Muggles find out about the Wizarding world, and they can't erase everyone's memories. They can't obliterate everyone's memories. They, there's a video that goes viral of Harry Potter fighting somebody. <laughs> Holy crap. Lego it's Dimension set, everywhere. the Wizarding World news interview, <laughs> and it's like a <laughs> microphone, and like a microphone podium, and like a minifigure <laughs> giving an interview about this is what the world is now <laughs> right <sighs> i don't know what even is this set it is, is even clear a fig well, and it, a here's weird the thing. creature it's, it is a level pack like all the level packs are and um it's just a larger one it's it comes with six new levels so it's, i know that but i'm like what is the set like i'm trying to make sense of what this is supposed oh, to be i don't <laughs> know it's like a gateway some weird thing and like a gate i guess <laughs> it's like dude. fudge i don't know it's like uh no, isn't it the, um... <laughs> it is the Temple it's... of Time. <laughs> wow. Yes. I, I think I saw it in the movie, like, in the trailer. Not in the movie. Okay. In the trailer, where, like, there's, there's a door that has the, the symbol on it, the wings, and they, Fair it enough. opens. I don't know where oh it is. Oh my gosh, a door is. opens? But, yeah, wow. and the window closes. Okay, you know what? You don't need to be like that. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was uncalled for. Give me a break. That was here. rude. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like it's whatever. I don't know what that creature is supposed to be, but it's horrifying. A niffler, yeah. little beady eyes. Looks like a Good. new. I think we've seen a niffler before. It could I, be wrong. There are a lot. Of, there are not. Oh, there's a lot of new uh, magical creatures. In the, the US. name sounds familiar. I think we've seen it before. Oh no! It's uh, this is the magical uh, congress. Oh. At the bottom it says Mac USA. That's uh, the Magical uh, Congress of the United States of America, I believe. Okay. Oh, uh, is that like the Congress that gets stuff done? No, I'm joking. <laughs> the Congress that gets stuff done. <laughs> no political I don't think we can. I, don't, I think we have to edit that out. But, um, <laughs> wow. No, no, no. I think, yeah. yeah. Okay. You guys but, are uh, so too much. <laughs> just the government in general. Everybody. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Purple. Thanks for reining <laughs> us in. I am so sorry that we. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. On your I toes. thought we were going to offend, like, offend the people that think that Congress actually does something. I'm so <laughs> sorry. I, I'm sorry, oh, Purple. Thank on. you for being the better host here. Sorry. And stopping right. us before it gets too far. You're the one that made the rule. 
<laughs> yeah, guess what? Our rules can be broken by us. You know what else is getting too far? Early releases of Lego sets. Stuff coming out when it's not supposed to. It's yes. getting crazy, man. Yes. Like the Lego collectible minifigure series 16. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Banana Man. It was supposed yeah, to come out yeah, in September. Right. Devil minifig. Dude, it was supposed like to come box. out in September, but it's already out in July. Yeah. And Yay. I don't know why that would be. Brickset speculates it's because they're gonna re-release the Disney minifigures to coincide with the Disney castle, which makes a lot of they're sense. They're gonna re-release them? Honest. Not series two? Yeah. That sucks. I'd love to see a series two of uh, of the Disney minifigures. Yeah. I Is kind that of an have emo all the kid? ones I want. You're an emo kid. I have to get that minifig. It suits yeah. me so perfectly. There's a penguin. There's a penguin man. I really like a lot of the minifigs here, but I'm not sure if I like them enough to try to buy them. I think I do. I think I at least want to get Banana Guy <laughs> and uh, the little devil kid. Well, good luck finding and penguin him. Penguin kid. I'll find him. My Walmart stock. Oh, my king. My Walmart doesn't stock them. My Target <laughs> stocks them. <laughs> there you go. And I mean, the banana dude's going to be pretty distinctive. Penguin, too. So I don't it's know. adorable. We'll I need the well, emo we talked kid. about them at length before. Yeah, like we talked about it at length in out. the previous podcast. So, go there hunting. Go. They're in the United States. Or at least that's where they've been spotted. Indeed. All right. Well, real quick, while we have a little bit of a break here, I want to talk to you guys about the TTV story. Okay. Which is store.ttvchannel.com. The store you where can't we buy have... anything from? <laughs> we have nothing available right now. We will soon because we're going to sit down and make VAR put something up. <laughs> by hook or by freaking crook. Oh, wow. We're going we're gonna to do it this week, guys. So by the time this episode comes out, hopefully we have something there. If not, well, you know who to blame. You can uh, PM Vardran <laughs> at the TTV message board. Actually, it's a wow. Nice double and be like, plug. Hey, yeah. Hey, what are you doing, man? <laughs> Get on this. And there you go. Um, also, by this time, I think our content is just about up. So, uh, if it's you are a member of the message board, this is out. Yeah. So, if you're a member of the message boards, you should go and uh, look at the uh, the winners of this contest. We've uh, we've we've got some cool stuff coming on. So, I guess you can. We'll talk about it more in the TTV podcast. Indeed. Uh, but there you go. Cool. What do you think? You think it's time to wrap up, or do you want to keep going? Right I got nothing more to say. What about the Red Sox? Yeah, thing? Really yeah there's, there's like th- there's two more things in the docket. I'll mention real quick. Uh, Lego partnered with the Boston Red Sox to do an exclusive collectible. Um, and also uh, they confirmed that Zach Galifianakis is playing the Joker in the new Lego Batman movie, which is coming out uh, <laughs> next that year. That dude sounds familiar, but I don't know who he, it is. He's the fat guy from he's the Hangover. Like, hangover. Yeah, he's a fat guy. From the, the movie that Meso's absolutely seen before the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen no movies. I've never seen movies. Movies are overrated. Good grief. No wonder you hate so many things. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder you're into Bionicle so much. It's like, oh, movies are overrated, except for the Bionicle movies. I'm not really all that into Bionicle, nah. to be honest. But I used to be, but like... overrated, too. Oh, yeah. What's Bionicle? Hashtag Web of well, Shatters sp- is the best. No, shut up. <laughs> Speaking about stuff that's overrated, you know what's overrated? You. It's reading. No, shut up. <laughs> Ouch. That really hurt. <laughs> Reading's overrated, unless you can do it while also doing something else, like if you have an audiobook. <laughs> that's wow. why you should go. <laughs> AudibleTrial.com slash TV. Get an audiobook of your choice. Uh, I would recommend um, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. <laughs> why? <laughs> because it's a good book. It's not my, even my favorite Harry Potter book. You sound like you you're being threatened to say this. Like, someone has a gun to your head and you're like, oh, it's a, a good, like, good book. Harry Potter. Um, actually, the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them is an actual book, but it's kind of lame because it's just a dictionary. Of, not dictionary. It's an encyclopedia, basically, of just random creatures. So, uh, if you're I wonder not if they'll ever put the world, Cursed like Child up on Audible. Oh, they might. They might. The, the book is coming out. I bet you most like big week, books right? get an audiobook. Yeah. By the time this comes out on YouTube, that's what you should actually you should try to get I'll the uh, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child if it is available on. Uh, we got to do two DVD talks audiobooks. about that. I think it should be. You know, we must. Yeah. We, yeah, we we definitely have to. It was actually like Harry Potter kind of inspired TTV to begin with. <laughs> yeah. The Harry Potter podcast inspired VAR. So it's kind of, you know, tying everything back in. So if you want to get any of the Harry Potter books, you can go to, go to audibletrial.com slash TTV and get that. Um, or if you want to do anything, literally anything else, you can. there's a whole range of books. They have tons of books. And with that, I think it's time to wrap everything up. Let's do it. Let's it's been go. a very comprehensive Yay. episode. Yeah, we, we had a lot of news this episode, and we were able to cover it pretty uh, co- uh, cohesively. Yeah, there's a lot that happened also, probably around this time, I'm not sure. But if you didn't hear last week, around now we should have our Brent Miller interview up on YouTube. So go ahead and check that oh, out yes, as well. Oh, yes, definitely check that Brent out. Brent Miller, who is the voice of Zane in the TV show. 
So check that out. It the Ninjago TV show. Yeah. What? Yeah. In case you don't know who Zayn is. <laughs> yeah, in fact, he's uh he's Sir Fangar. I think <laughs> you just said he was Zayn. Mm-hmm. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah. It's been fun. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. Go check that out. Um, and see you guys later. Uh, I'm John. I'm Mesa. I'm LJ. I'm Ben. And I'm Purple. And thanks again for listening to the TTB Brickfeed Podcast. Yay. See you next week. Farewell, bye. everybody. Bye-bye. Gone forever, us. <laughs> <laughs>